guys, so today I'm going to be doing a do-it-yourself video. Um, I had mentioned this a while ago and someone had like um, said that they wanted to see it. I'm going to be showing you guys how to reuse your candles. I am a huge Bath & Body Works, Yankee Candle, any type of candle I can get my hands on it that I think smells good. Um, but I hate when you get like this much left and you have nothing to do with it. Um, you just kind of toss out the jar, you toss out the extra wax. So I've come up with kind of a kind of like a no-brainer type way to use them, but um, people always ask me like, oh my god, how did you get that? How did you get it to look like that? So I'm going to be showing you guys today, and yeah, so let's head on over to my kitchen and let's get started. All right, so to get started, you're going to need a used up candle. You're going to need a knife, some dishwasher soap, a little scrubber, a piece of paper towel, and a candle wax. Um, burner. You always get these from Walmart for like five to ten dollars. So you're first going to take your knife and your used candle and you're just going to start making inserts down um, whatever direction you guys want to kind of break up the candle wax. I'm just going at like kind of like a cross type way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife and go out on the outsides and get the biggest chunks. Make sure you guys pull out the wicks. Um, so they're not get they don't get burned and then if you can't just take your knife and put a little pressure on them and they will slide right on off like that now you're gonna take the top of your burner and the crushed up candle wax and just dump what you have so far into it um, as you can see there is a lot of extra candle wax still in there so just take your knife and like kind of scrape at it again. So once that's done, you're just going to dump it all in again. And yeah, that's what it should look like. And on over to the sink now, you're just going to take your topper and you're going to give it a really good scrubbing. This is not going to be required if you like just bought a brand new one, but I'm using a used one and I had a candle wax in it before. So just take your uh, dish soap, your scrubby, and scrub it out and then make sure you dry it off extremely well because you don't want any water on it. Then you're going to take your candle jar and you're just going to fill it up with some really hot water and some soap and you're going to give it a really nice scrubbing. As you can see, the top of my candle is extremely black from like the smoke that's been in it. So I'm just going to give this a really good scrubbing and then I'm going to dump it all out and kind of just scrub it out again and get all the excess candle wax that I couldn't get um, scrubbing it. So see how I'm like scrubbing around the edges and it's really black. Make sure you guys get all of that off so you have a nice clean looking jar. This step is totally optional but I took some hand soap and I just gave it a few pumps into it and I took some hot water again, scrubbed it, and made sure my glass didn't have any streaks in it or anything. This is totally optional. You guys can do this with Windex or you don't have to do it at all. It's just a preference and make sure you guys clean it out with your paper towel extremely well. And yeah. So this is what your jar should look like, just nice and clean and empty. Now you're going to take your fingers and you're just going to peel off the front sticker. You don't have to do this, but like I said, I just want a nice clean looking jar. And I'm going to take my paper towel and just kind of scrub off all the excess sticky. Now take your dish soap and kind of just lightly buffer the sticker. Um, there's many different ways to do this, but this is the one I found that works best. And then I like to just kind of let it under some hot water, take my knife, and then scrape it. Um, this is doesn't take long at all whatsoever. You just need to um, take your knife and apply a little pressure to the sticker, and it will come right on off. Now with some of your dish soap, you're going to just sprinkle a little bit, sprinkle, you're going to just put a little on and rub it into the sticker and then put it under hot water and rub it in some more and scrape off any of you can and the glue from the sticker will come right off and then just take your paper towel and wipe it off and you should have a very, very clean glass. That's what it should look like you guys. Time to prep for your candle. Just take your burner and plug it on in and make sure it's on. Um, mine does not tell me if it's on or not, so I kind of have to play with it a little bit. And you're going to take your excess candle wax and you're just going to place it on top of your burner and it should be starting to melt. In the meantime, I'm going to show you guys some ways that I use my jars. I like to fill them with like my EOSs because I have no idea where I put them. So I thought this would be a really cool idea. And then also another cool idea is for like using cotton. 
um, just place it inside and use your topper and you have a nice little storage for your cotton or your q-tips or whatever fits in them. Moving back over to your candle, over time it's going to melt and it's going to look like this. Don't be alarmed with the black at the bottom. That's just all the burnt um, like wax that was or like the wick that was in there. So don't be alarmed. It doesn't really affect the candle wax, but it's going to just kind of look like a candle without the flame, I guess you can say. And yeah, that's what it looks like. And I like to unplug mine. These are extremely safe. That's why I like them. But um, I recommend unplugging them and turning them, like keeping the dialer on, but just unplugging it because I am kind of a freak about if something's going to burn or whatever. So I just like to have it off and then over time it will start to harden again. This is what a few of the ones that I have used. The brown one is Leaves by Bath & Body Works and then the pink one is like a Hawaiian Lei, which is like a Walmart brand. It smells really good. Depending on how much wax you have, depends on the size of, I call them discs, um, but yeah, they are just really nice and they take forever to burn, like 10 times longer than a regular candle. This is what the one that you'll be getting if you have like just one of the candles. Um, it's not very small, but once again, it really takes a long time. Over time, this is what your candle is going to look like once it's like hardening. Um, if you guys want to remove them from the burner like I did with the other two discs, you just kind of heat it up and then they will slide right out. And this is the final product of what it looks like when it's completely hardened. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of do-it-yourself do video. If you have any more, just uh, leave me a comment below. So yeah guys, that is it for my kind of do-it-yourself, um, ways to save candles type video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys want to see any other kind of do-it-yourself videos, I'm more than happy to because I love doing crafty projects. Um, so yeah, just leave me a comment down below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure that you guys subscribe for more videos. I'm trying to kind of branch out my channel. Um, I get kind of not bored with just beauty and fashion, but like I want to show you guys like all of me and I'm a big crafty person, ways to save money, ways to reuse things. So yeah, make sure you guys just subscribe, like, like, comment. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!